Welcome to a very tense and nervous United Kingdom as we prepare to go and vote for our next government. Welcome everyone. It is another English Addict Live across the world wide web. Hello there. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I really do hope that you are feeling happy. Here in the UK, everyone is, I suppose the word I would use is tense, maybe a little nervous as we approach Friday the 13th and also tomorrow as well something is happening tomorrow here in the UK we have <laughs> the UK general election taking place tomorrow so everyone will be going out to vote for the next government who will be making all the big decisions for this country so that is happening tomorrow so lots of things happening as we go into the general election for the past three weeks, we've been listening to people telling us all sorts of things, making all kinds of promises. <laughs> How many of those promises they will actually carry out or fulfill remains to be seen. So that is happening. So I'm sure many of us here in the UK on Friday morning and of course this Friday it is the 13th <laughs> Friday the 13th this week so I'm sure across the UK many people will be waking up feeling as if luck is not on their side for various reasons depending or not if the party that they voted for actually gets in so a big day tomorrow the general election is taking place here in the UK and this has been described as one of the biggest events the biggest political events for many years because after this vote the country that I'm living in now might be very different in the future so some very interesting times ahead here in the UK enough about that because there is a reason to be happy yes we have made it all the way to halfway through the week yes it's Wednesday <laughs> Yes, Wednesday has arrived and I'm ever so pleased about that. <laughs> I feel very happy that we have all made it to Wednesday. I don't know why, but the gap between Sunday and Wednesday when I'm not doing my live streams always seems very long. Do you feel the same way? So I always feel that after Sunday, I always feel as if I want to do more live streams, but unfortunately I have to wait until Wednesday to do the next one. So sometimes that gap can seem quite long indeed. I hope you are feeling OK. Hello to the live chat. I can't forget the live chat, of course. So hello to everyone on the live chat. Hello to Espoir. Oh, hello to you. Flower Espoir. Hi to you. Guess what? You are first on today's live chat. <laughs> Very good. Flower Espoir. You are first on the live chat. Hello to everyone watching live at the moment across the world. 
hello to maria also hello sweetness thank you sweetness luis mendez watching in france thank you very much Eman, hello to you maria maria, maria giovanni la rosa i love your name it's so lovely to say it really does roll off the tongue very nicely hello sweetness again haja hello to you grace chin i'm sorry grace you weren't first today on the live chat even though you were last weekend not today unfortunately it would appear that flower espoir has a very fast finger hello also to adrian hello adrian nice to see you back again as sam also we have anna anna rita watching as well beatrice is here hello beatrice once again nice to see you again as well amory hello amory hello to amory de olivia junior again i like your name very interesting Mirella, hello mr duncan hello everybody kathy cat hello kathy cat i haven't seen you for a long time at least it feels like a long time since i last saw you apparently it is just after nine o'clock in the morning in south america in mexico it is just after five oh no ten minutes past nine in the morning right now so it's still very early in mexico so a very good morning to you luciano is here as well hello to you i haven't seen you for a long time either a lot of people from the past are coming back today maybe they are wondering why i haven't told you who i am voting for in the next election which is happening tomorrow so we have a big event taking place here in the uk now i'm in a very difficult position i'm going to be honest with you i find myself in a rather difficult situation because as a teacher many people expect me not to give my personal opinions however as you know sometimes i do sometimes i do give my personal opinions sometimes i do give comments personal comments from myself not always but sometimes however when it comes to politics i suppose i should be very careful what i'm saying i suppose just like any broadcaster especially a news broadcaster you have to make sure that you are impartial so if you are impartial it means that you don't have a favorite you don't have a favorite party you don't have a favorite form of politics so sometimes you have to be very careful what you say rhs is here by the way you may have noticed that my throat <clears> throat is a little strange today i don't know why it's it feels as if i'm losing my voice but i have no idea why perhaps it has something to do with the fact that i was on the roof yesterday repairing my christmas lights <laughs> because we've had some very strong winds over the past couple of days talking of which the view today is rather nice the sun has just decided to come out however about an hour ago it was raining the rain was really coming down quite harshly and in the distance right now so there it is a view out of the window at this very moment you can see yes it's looking okay and all i can say is thank goodness the wind has eased off i'm very pleased about that to be honest hello also to hilal watching in turkey hello to you belarusia belarusia we have a new president here in argentina and i wish everything will be okay i really hope so well you know what they say hope springs eternal in the heart of man and woman 
of course so yes we have a big day tomorrow it would appear that around the world many countries at the moment are going through certain types of upheaval so when we talk about upheaval we mean disruption something that is disrupting the normal flow of life or the normal flow of behavior so you might say at the moment around the world there is a lot of upheaval taking place including here in the UK from tomorrow maybe because we have the general election tomorrow I won't be with you unfortunately tomorrow I would love to be with you but I won't be with you tomorrow however I will be with you on Friday <laughs> Friday the 13th I will be with you as well as always for those who are wondering you can see me live every Sunday Wednesday and Friday 2 p.m. UK time so that is when I am on with my English addict live stream a lot of people asking Mr. Duncan where is your website the website will be launched in January so there you go <laughs> so it won't be launched before the end of the year the new website is coming in January next year which sounds a long time off but isn't don't worry it's not very far away because already we are approaching halfway through December so don't worry about it hello Palmyra hello to you have you made your decision I guess you are talking about the general election that is taking place tomorrow we have to go out and vote for a new government chaotic it's been a very chaotic year here in the UK lots of things that we were supposed to decide and <laughs> vote on are now undecided so because of all the chaos that has been caused by one issue and we all know what it is I'm not going to mention it <laughs> We are having to vote for a new government tomorrow. So that is happening here. Lots of stuff going on in the UK. I'm sure where you are, you will hear all about this tomorrow. This morning we had Boris Johnson hiding in a refrigerator <laughs> to avoid being asked questions on live television. Did you see that? <laughs> Very interesting. It's been a very interesting run up to the general election, a very unusual one. Hello, Mayella. Hello to you. And also hello to Noemi. Nice to see you here as well. I've got a lot of things to show you today. We are talking all about a very positive thing, something positive and something that I hope will bring a smile to your face today the word encourage we are talking about the action of giving encouragement you encourage someone and we'll be looking at words connected to this word and also this action as well that coming up later on also we have the mystery idiom in fact I think we will do that right now would you like to see today's mystery idiom it is something I will put on the screen all you have to do is say what you see say what you see it is a well-known expression in English and there it is today's mystery idiom now there are a couple of idioms that you could use so this is a very unusual mystery idiom because there, there could be two answers however today I am looking for one particular answer so one answer if you think you know what it is please let me know on the live chat and I will give you the answer later on it is English addict for a Wednesday 
we've made it all the way to Wednesday I hope you are okay where you are Kathy cat I would love to see your live chats but due to the time change in the UK I can't watch them as much as I used to well that's a shame yes it is annoying now there is something in the back of my mind that I'm thinking about at the moment I'm not sure whether to do it or not but I'm thinking of having a late English addict on Wednesday so I will do my normal English addict early on Wednesday at 2 p.m. and then later I will do another one so that is something I'm thinking about I'm thinking about doing it I haven't made up my mind yet I haven't decided but it's something that I'm thinking of doing so thank you very much for that Kathy it's nice to see you here today so thanks a lot for staying up extra late or of course getting up extra early it really depends on where you are in the world Alan Gear is here Koto hello Koto long time no see on the live chat how are you how am I I'm okay thank you I have lots of things to catch up if you haven't been here for a while first of all you might notice that things are slightly different because I have changed not only the appearance of my live streams but also the name as well English addict and this is all in preparation for the new website that will be launched in 2020 which is only two and a half weeks away so that's not too bad is it really hello Palmyra again Rosa Rosa nice to see you here as well hello also to Naveen hello it's very warm here in Egypt I would imagine it is it's not too bad here to be honest it's been cold but today it's a little milder and finally the sun has come out hello also to Rosa Mirella again Pradeep hello Pradeep Pradeep Mawa where are you watching at the moment I'm very intrigued to find out where you are Anna the UK general election is taking place tomorrow when we will when will we know the result so normally when we have a general election here in the UK we will open the voting stations as they call them or polling stations so they normally open very early in the morning I think it's eight o'clock in the morning they open it might actually be set six or seven but they do open very early so people who have to go to work can actually cast their vote in the morning which is nice and then normally the the voting will stop at 10 o'clock at night so at 10 p.m. at night the voting will stop the polling stations or the voting stations will all close and immediately the votes will start to be counted so people will slowly count the votes all across the country and then as the night goes on and normally it goes on into the early hours of the morning the votes will be counted and then slowly but surely the results will come in so it's normally during the early hours of the next morning so very early on Friday morning the results will start to come in so what I'm planning to do tomorrow I'm planning to sit up and watch as all the results come in sadly Mr Steve won't be here tomorrow to sit with me but I will be doing that tomorrow however I won't be doing it on the internet unfortunately so there is no live stream Cecilia hi dear Mr Duncan I've been following you since 2013 I must be honest I'm always interested to find out how long you've been watching for so I've received some lovely messages recently I received one yesterday from someone saying 
Mr. Duncan, I started watching your lessons when I was a young boy. Now I'm an old man. <laughs> and I'm still watching you. Thank you very much for that message, by the way. Well, I was old when I started doing this 13 years ago. Goodness me. Ramzanura. Hi, Mr. Duncan. How are you? I've missed some of your videos. Has the live stream time changed? It hasn't. You can still catch me on Sunday, Wednesday and Friday from 2 p.m. UK time. So nothing has changed there. Also, of course, many people want to get in touch with me. If you want, you can write to me. You can also follow me on Facebook. And if you want to help my work continue forever and ever and ever, you can make a small donation as well. I have no idea what is happening with my throat. <laughs> it feels as if my voice is slowly fading away. I don't know why. Perhaps it was because I was outside yesterday in the pouring rain trying to fix my Christmas lights. That might have something to do with it. I think so. Hello, Zara. Hello, Zara. My name is Fatima. So your name isn't Zara, it's Fatima. Hello to Fatima. And I religiously watch you almost every day. Oh, so you don't just watch my live streams. You also watch me in the recorded lessons as well. Very nice. Thank you very much. Tan Chang is here. Also, I'm Yasser. Very nice. I'm Yasser. Oh, you've made a guess on the mystery idiom. That's a good one. But it isn't today's. It isn't today's mystery idiom. But what do you think it is? I wonder what it could be. So there it is, today's mystery idiom. But what is it? It is a well-known phrase in English. All you have to do is give me the actual phrase. Something unusual, of course, here is that you can have more than one choice. However, I am looking for just one phrase. <laughs> but which one is it? Mm. Mm. I wonder. Hello also to SM. No doubt the election is democratic in all countries. They have freedom. If I have to vote in this election, I will elect the excellent man which can serve the people and his nation. I suppose so. Well, we don't just have men standing for election. We have women as well. So we have Boris Johnson. We have also Jeremy Corbyn. And that lady with the Liberal Democrats. I can never I can never remember her name. I feel really bad about that. I know I'm going to get into trouble. I had a name in my head just and now it's disappeared. This is the pressure of doing a live stream. Hello, Mayella. Hello, Hiroko. Hello, Flower Espoir. Hello, men. Wendell. Hello, Wendell. I do like your name, Wendell. Thanks for joining me today. Please say hello to your Brazilian students. I know I have a lot of people watching in Brazil. Thank you for watching. Thank you also for staying with me. Very nice. Pradeep is watching in Japalur or Japalpur, which is in India. Hello to you. Hello, Anaka boy or Anaka B. Yes, a very interesting answer to my mystery idiom. It isn't the one I'm looking for today, but I like it. I like your answer. Very good. Zara, I like the way you explain the lessons. Your good mood is 
inspiring ah. does it encourage you ah. so we are looking at some words today connected to encourage the word encourage I like this word so if you encourage someone what is it what are we actually doing to encourage is to give support or confidence to someone so if you encourage someone you are actually giving support you are giving support or confidence to someone so encourage can be many types of action I suppose you can say something you can do something maybe you can send something maybe a message a message to give support or to create confidence to give support or of course you can give a person confidence as well so if you encourage someone it means you are giving them the spirit the will to continue with that particular thing so I think encouragement is a very interesting thing and also important as well in teaching you might imagine that encouragement is very important and again I agree I think that encouragement is very important especially if you're teaching so I think this is one of the biggest skills that a teacher can have here are some other words you can urge someone so if you want to encourage someone we can also say urge urge so you urge a person you give them support you encourage them you urge them so you say things that will make them want to do something so you urge a person maybe you beg a person to do well <laughs> so urge can be a very sincere way of giving encouragement you urge them maybe if your friend is running in a race maybe you are standing at the side of the racetrack urging them on you are shouting things you are using words to urge them on to give them encouragement so to encourage someone is to support so you support a person you give them support you give them encouragement you encourage by giving support and of course support can cover many things many different types of things so you can support a person you can support them by saying things you can support a person by helping them continue with their work maybe you donate maybe money you maybe you donate your time to help that person carry on so there are many ways of supporting someone you give them support you encourage them I like that one very much <laughs> here's an interesting word you might not have heard of this word before but I will show you anyway the word is cajole so if you cajole someone you will say things you will say things to them to give them encouragement you will say things to inspire them to keep them moving forwards you want them to do well so you will say things to encourage whatever it is they are doing you want them to do well you say nice things you give them words of encouragement you cajole cajole perhaps that's a word you've never seen before who knows <laughs> Caesar says please Mr Duncan 
support me and my wife oh please support me my wife wants to hear a happy birthday from your voice mr duncan so hello to caesar's wife i don't know your name because caesar hasn't told me <laughs> so happy birthday a happy birthday to caesar's wife i hope you have a super duper day and i hope that caesar bought you something nice for your birthday mm. you are very lucky to have a husband like caesar campaign now here is an interesting word the reason why i'm using this word is because campaign can be used in more than one way you can use it as a noun to name the action so you are naming the event of going out and asking other people for support especially during a political campaign so a campaign is a noun and also if you are going around asking other people to give their support to the person that you want to be voted into power then you are campaigning you campaign in a campaign by going around asking people for their support will you vote for mr duncan in the next general election so you are campaigning you will campaign from door to door and quite often this is something that happens during a general election especially here at the moment many people have been knocking on our doors asking for our support in their election campaign Anna says your support of our English learning is giving us your time and knowledge Mr Duncan thank you very much for that well I always try my best <laughs> I try my best advocate so if you are an advocate for someone it means you are giving them your support you advocate or you are an advocate of that person you are giving them support you are saying i really think that guy or that lady can be the next prime minister hmm. so you advocate them advocate here's a sentence we can use to show support that we are giving you lend your support so uh, especially during a political campaign you might lend your support you might offer your support to someone i will support you in the next general election you lend your support so you will be there for that person you will give them encouragement you will lend your support here's another political one which can also mean support or encourage you endorse someone so if you approve of what someone is doing if you want that person to succeed you will often endorse that person so endorse can also mean approve or promote so quite often we will we will see this word used in many different ways you endorse something you promote you approve of something you approve of a certain person and their beliefs so you endorse that person and of course this particular word can give a person a lot of encouragement because if you endorse someone you are giving your support and encouragement here's another phrase get behind if you get behind someone it means once more you give them support 
you get behind them you show your support to one person or a group of people you get behind a certain issue maybe you get behind the environmental issue movement there are many people at the moment talking about the risks and the dangers that pollution and other things are causing to the environment so you might get behind that movement you get behind something you encourage it you support it you give it your encouragement hello to Guadeloupe hello to Palmyra again a lot of things have been happening in France this week some huge protests taking place Raya Raya Kwadash says hello Mr Duncan this is Waira from Iraq I have been watching you from or since 2012 thank you very much for your support and a big hello to everyone watching in Iraq I know I have a lot of viewers there I really do Neo Neo oh sorry Neo Zero I used to have someone called Neo Neo but Neo Zero I don't think you're any relation are you I don't think so the pension revolution I suppose that's one way of that's one way of describing the protests that are taking place at the moment in France spur on here's an interesting word you spur on so spur means to give encouragement you want that person to do well you spur them on you cheer them on you give them your support so you spur a person on you give them your encouragement maybe your favorite football team you will go along to watch them play you will spur on your favorite team you will encourage them to win the match hello also to zero find hello to you as well a lot of people called zero on the live chat today hello Lewis again I would like to know we will know a bit more the following days I'm not sure what that's about I think that might be a reply to another question that people are talking about on the live stream so a lot of people wanting to find out about encouragement how do you encourage a person what words can you use here we go egg on I like this one if you egg on someone you get them to do something you encourage them you maybe get them to do something that will benefit them you egg a person on you encourage them to do something you egg them on this can sometimes be used negatively as well so not only positively but also sometimes we can use this in a negative way as well you egg someone on Sally says Mr Duncan I am preparing food for my grandfather whilst I'm watching you thank you Sally it's nice to see you here and hello to your grandfather as well I wonder what you are cooking last night we had pizza and I made a slight mistake I think I may have put too much garlic on the pizza last night because last night my stomach was so bad during the night very painful I had terrible indigestion so I always like to put lots of cheese and lots of garlic on the pizza and it wasn't just me who was suffering Mr Steve was suffering as well so I think it, it was something to do with last night's pizza so last night I did I did make a pizza but I did put slightly too much garlic on the pizza garlic is lovely unless you eat too much of it if you have too much garlic it can make your stomach quite upset 
root for have you ever rooted for someone if you root for someone it means you give them your support your encouragement so you support that person you want them to succeed you want them to do well you want them to win you root for your team you root for your friend you want them to succeed so to root for someone is to give them your support that person is the one that you want to win talking of which we have a general election tomorrow here in the UK that should be very interesting mm. a lot of people already feel as if they know what the result is cheer on cheer on if you cheer on someone then it means you give them your vocal support so maybe you shout things you cheer maybe you wave at the same time so you cheer on someone maybe as your football team comes out onto the field you will cheer on your favorite team you will give them your support so if you cheer on this is an action normally using your voice or maybe you will wave you will cheer on your favorite team if you have a favorite team to be honest with you I don't follow football at all so when we encourage someone we give support or confidence to someone and as I said earlier I think being a teacher is a very important job and one of the reasons why teaching is so important is because one of the things that a teacher has to do is encourage their students I think so Palmyra says Mr Duncan I please Mr Duncan please do not eat pizza before going to bed yes I think that might be the mistake that I made yesterday so so Mr Steve and I sat down to eat some pizza so if you encourage someone we can say that you give them a slap on the back this sounds like you are hitting them but in fact you are encouraging them so if you give them a slap on the back or maybe a pat on the back you are saying well done well done you did well and I hope you do well next time as well you give them a slap on the back you are showing your support and approval of the thing they have done you are giving them a slap on the back <laughs> maybe your boss will give you a slap on the back if your sales figures are very high you can say things to encourage a person go for it go for it perhaps your friend tells you all about a great idea that they have for a new business a new business plan that they are thinking about you might say that sounds like a good idea go for it go for it so when we say go for it we mean do it don't hang around don't wait don't hesitate go for it do it so I think this is a great way of encouraging a person to do something and also to do it well here is something that I've almost said in my English lessons you can do it you can do it you can do it you can do it <laughs> you can do it if you want it you can do it you can 
definitely do it this is a way of giving encouragement to someone saying yes I believe you I believe that you can do it you can do it you really can Layla is here and I'm about to lose my voice I don't know what's happened to my voice today as I've been doing my live stream my voice has slowly started to disappear I'm sorry about that excuse me while I, whilst I drink some water mm -mm. I don't know what has happened to my voice today it seems very strange of course encouragement is great but also sometimes we can do the opposite we might say things to discourage someone so if you take away a person's confidence maybe you say something that makes them lose their ability or their desire to do something you discourage someone you say things that are negative and they discourage someone you take away a person's confidence not very nice we can say that you take the wind out of their sails so if you say something that takes a person's confidence or their motivation away we can say that you take the wind out of their sails you say things to discourage them you say something that takes away their confidence you take the wind out of their sails you take away their confidence and self esteem self esteem now that's an interesting word your self esteem is your way of looking at yourself in a positive way your self worth the value that you believe you have to other people take away their confidence and you take away their self esteem you discourage them you say things that make people lose their confidence so you discourage someone you deject someone oh no you say things that make a person feel less confident about what they are doing they feel dejected so if you make a person feel dejected you are making them lose their confidence the thing you do is deject you say things to make a person lose their confidence sometimes people do that for various reasons people might not want to see you succeed so they will say things to make you lose your confidence not very nice hello Tias I didn't see Tias earlier hello Palmyra Palmyra also didn't see Tias as well can we say boost someone to support them yes you can you can give someone a boost so boost means to give more power you put more power or force into something so you boost you make make something more powerful you give it more strength so yes you can boost a person's confidence by saying things to encourage them disparage this is the opposite by the way this is the opposite of boost and encourage if you don't encourage someone if you say things to make them feel unhappy about themselves 
you disparage a person disparage you say things to make them feel bad about themselves and the thing they are doing not very nice really when you think about it here's another one you will say horrible things you will say horrible things about the person maybe you will say horrible things to other people about that person you demean them you say negative things about someone you say things to make another person seem as if they are not doing a good job you demean them you pull them down by the things you say demean you take away a person's confidence you say things that are cruel you demean them live chat very busy hello Anna you have so many subscribers mr. Duncan does this increase your self-esteem it used to but not anymore it is great having lots of subscribers but it's not so good if your subscribers don't know that you are there that's all I'm saying so many years ago I used to always feel excited when I got lots of new subscribers but the problem nowadays is many of my subscribers don't even realize that I'm still here on YouTube which isn't very good really when you think about it <laughs> in fact you might say that when I find out that people don't get to find out about my English lessons it will always deflate me I feel a little deflated so when you deflate something maybe you have a football and you take the air out of the football the football will deflate the air will escape and so the ball will deflate you can also do that with a person by saying bad things to them or if something negative happens you might feel deflated something will make you feel a little unhappy or depressed or down you will feel deflated the negative thing will deflate you put down is another one to put down a person is to say bad things or negative things about them you put down someone you say things negatively you say things to discourage a person to take away their confidence you say negative things why do you always have to put me down why do you put me down all the time that means that people are going around saying bad things about me you put down someone belittle and this is the final word belittle if you belittle someone once again you say things you do things to make that person seem foolish or maybe to take away their confidence you belittle someone you go around saying bad things about someone because you want them to fail you don't want them to succeed you will belittle them you make that person seem in insignificant you belittle them Marouche says hello Mr Duncan what does persuade mean to persuade means to change a person's opinion or their mind or maybe you want them to do something that they don't want to do so to persuade is to change a person's mind by asking them or using some way to change their mind so persuade is the action you persuade them you use persuasion 
so when we say persuasion that describes the action of trying to get someone to do something or to change their mind or to change their ways you do something you say something to get them to change persuade is the action of doing it palmyra let me down and put me down is that the same thing if someone lets you down it means they disappoint you so maybe they promise to come to your birthday party but they don't come unfortunately they let you down by not coming to your party put down means to say bad things about another person so if you feel put down or if someone puts you down it means they are saying bad things about you so they are different they are different yes I suppose if you want to impress a person you want to change their opinion of you so yes persuade once again is a way of changing someone's mind so maybe they see you as a lazy person so you have to persuade them that you are not a lazy person <clears throat> yes you're right persuade can be used in many ways sometimes we use gentle persuasion sometimes we will ask a person nicely other times we will use aggression to get someone to change their opinion or their mind about something so persuade can be gentle or not so gentle it just depends the antonym of persuade is dissuade yes it is but you you rarely hear people use it it's very strange so you rarely hear anyone say you dissuaded me <laughs> it isn't a word you hear used very often if you want to follow me you are more than welcome to do so also i know it sounds desperate but please like and please subscribe and make sure you have your notifications switched on as well so please make sure you have your notifications so when my new lessons come on when my new live streams appear you will find out about it it's almost time to go already i can't believe how quickly today's live stream has gone hello to vin raj thank you very much once again for your suggestion of the opposite of persuade dissuade you dissuade or discourage of course Rakesh Mr Duncan and everyone in India it is now 8 30 is it really 8 30 p.m. good night good night well I will be saying goodbye soon thank you Christina thank you everyone before I go <laughs> don't worry I'm not going to forget here is the answer to today's mystery idiom so the thing to remember about mystery idioms is that all you have to do is say what you see however this particular mystery idiom could be more than one thing for example it might be if the glove fits it might be hand in glove however it isn't <laughs> the answer to today's mystery idiom is the gloves are off the gloves are off and now you can see the picture the gloves are off this is a well-known expression in English and the meaning is to fight without holding back or observing the rules to do battle or retaliate ruthlessly without showing restraint this time the gloves are off it means you will not play fair you will be ruthless 
you will break the rules if necessary to get your own way so there it is today's mystery idiom the answer has now appeared on your screen and it's time for me to go I hope my voice is better on Friday so I'm with you on Friday as usual as long as my voice works and yes on Friday it is the 13th Friday the 13th <laughs> uh, so a lot of people believe that Friday the 13th is unlucky we will see I'm sure there will be some people who will be unhappy on Friday depending on what the result of the general election is here in the UK yes that is what is happening tomorrow we have the UK general election so I will see you on Friday who knows I have no idea which government will be running this country by Friday but on Friday if you join me we can all find out together this is Mr Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thank you very much Olga thank you also to Pachu thank you to Zuzika thank you very much for your company today and I will see you on Friday what is the difference between gloves and mittens gloves have fingers mittens do not have fingers so mittens cover the whole of the hand without any fingers so it covers everything however gloves have fingers the gloves have fingers so that's the difference thank you very much see you on Friday 2 p.m. UK time I hope my my throat feels better on Friday we will have to wait and see it's lovely outside by the way the Sun is now out even though it is starting to set already a beautiful day is now occurring here in England <laughs> it looks really nice out there I might go outside to have a little run around and of course you know what's coming next until Friday 2 p.m. UK time ta-ta for now